Hi, it's Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this doodle video. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not going to build the video with you, but I will deconstruct my video and show you how I did it. So first of all, I downloaded a background, so I used the uh, Pixabay integration in the, in the software. So I went to the media library, and we looked into Pixabay, and I looked up the word chalkboard. Or you can use blackboard, and I just chose uh, one of these empty chalkboards here. I think it might have been this one, or I think this one right here. Okay, added it to the scene and then locked it in place. Okay, so now we can't do anything with the background here. So the interesting thing about this particular video, it's a bit different than usual in that the whole video will take place on the one scene and then we're going to use a lot of camera work to uh, show the different aspects of the scene. So I added a whole bunch of different doodle elements here. So the first thing you want to do is really map out how you want this to look at the end. So as you can see here, I've got a number of texts, uh, different doodle options, and so forth. Okay, so you can just add whatever you like, do as many as you like. I used uh, the cabin sketch for the text, as this is really good for a chalkboard. And as you can see here, as I look into my timeline, I organized all my assets uh, one after the other. So this is something that when you add all of them at the beginning, you're going to trim them so that way they will come on one after the other. So if I just play this a little bit here, I'm actually going to take the, um, the audio here. I chose the children audio uh, here, and I'm just going to turn that off for a second so we don't have to listen to that. But as I play it, okay, you'll notice that everything just comes on you know, one after the other. But the trick is to add, I said, the, uh, the camera work afterwards. Okay, so let's start off first of all by adding the initial text. So I did that using a text effect with a doodle text effect and with a chalk hand. So just going through the list here, there's some realistic looking hands. I chose uh, this hand here, which is more the 3D hand. Okay, and the next thing is we chose a doodle effect that's more of a circle that, that, it, that circles around the text. Now, one thing to note with the, uh, with the doodle effects is most of them are around 15 seconds long, so that's why I chose 15 seconds as a timeline for this video. But one thing that's important to note is when you're shortening the doodle effects, don't shorten them at the beginning. You're going to need to shorten them at the end because I'm just going to bring this over here for a second. Okay, and play it over here. So when you play it, you want it to look like it's drawing on like that. If I were to shorten this and then start to play it, it's going to cut off that beginning part Okay, and just appear. So we don't want that. So any shortening that you need to do should be at the end of the, the doodle uh, effect. Uh, the other thing I did was, just for ease, to move things around easier on the timeline was to shut off my timeline snapping. Okay. So the first thing I did here was just add uh, all of the effects and then made them come on one after the other. So there was a little bit of a, a distance here. So once that one's turned on here, so that's this doodle effect here, I added the, uh, the arrow. So that's that doodle effect and it's drawing on. And as it's coming near the end here, um, we add, I added uh, some text here. So you can see how this goes. There's the doodle effect of the arrow. Okay, and now we have the, uh, the text that says our fun. And as this is coming on, I also added this other doodle effect, which are the lines underlining it. Now, you can rename these just to make it easier on yourself. I didn't, but, uh, but you can definitely rename them so we know exactly where they are when you're looking in the timeline, exactly what you're looking at. Okay, let's just scroll up here on the timeline. And as that's on and then the, um, the text is finished, and by the way, just to show you my text here, what I did with this is uh, added a custom effect and add the text setting of typewriter. 
okay? And with the typewriter, I always like to have the rotation point at the top uh, left corner so that way when it is typing it looks more natural. Now of course you can have any effect you like uh, but I like to choose this one. Okay so we have our fun is coming on and now we're on to the next doodle effect here which are the arrows going down. Okay kind of like a marquee. And then I have the uh, look what I can do. Let's scroll up a little bit here. And as this is finished here I've added the uh, spotlights. Now with the spotlights, they're actually very short in duration. So what I had to do uh, to keep these on is to have multiple iterations. And so these three effects now are the spotlights, which will then, as you can see, come off, and then they'll come back on again. Okay, and the reason that we want to have this is at the end of the video, you want to have everything on the screen. Okay. So we have the uh, initial um, spotlights right here. On the next step, I added another arrow. So that's that arrow coming on. And once that's on, we added another effect here. So let me just move forward here a little bit. So with this particular uh, effect, I'm going to bring this to the side here. There's actually uh, duplicated. So this one here, you'll see, is a uh, like a scribble with a circle. Okay, I'm just going to press the back button here. And because there's a lot of gaps in between, I added two of them together. And as you'll notice, I, I rotated this other one. And what you'll see is they're going to come on from both sides and scribble to the middle. And then they'll overlap each other. So it gives a much more um, opaque looking doodle effect. Uh, now again, because this is a shorter doodle effect, I've duplicated it over here as well in order to bring it to the end of the, uh, of the, the whole video. Uh, but what's going to happen is it will start again. So it's just going to continue and then it'll have to redraw itself. Okay, so once this is starting to scribble, I'm going to scroll up here to the next step, which is the stick man. We brought the stick man on and with him, I put him in a dancing position and had him fade on. So he's fading on in the while well, he's just starting to dance here. I cut off just the front a little bit just so he's dancing immediately. And then immediately after he's on, I added the words, this is cool. And we keep moving up to the next step. The next doodle effect will be this other arrow. And as that arrow is moving, I'm having this text come on, which is the more text here. Now I added another uh, doodle effect here which is this hand coming on that is of short duration and I didn't repeat it because I only want it coming on one time and then popping off and you'll see this effect when we uh, do the um, do the camera effect uh, it'll pop in and pop out but it'll look much bigger here you'll see that in, a f in just a couple minutes here okay so that hand will come in and then it'll pop out and as it's popping out the next uh, arrow is coming up here and then we have the final text. And that's basically it. So here we go. We, I basically then laid out the entire screen here. Now the trick is to add the camera effect so that everything flows really nicely. And of course, then we added, uh, I added um, some music to make a nice kind of friendly atmosphere and, and happy atmosphere. Um, with the music, so I added again the children effect here. And at the end, you'll notice over here, I also faded out for two seconds, so that way it doesn't end abruptly. Okay, so let's start at the beginning again here, and now we're going to add our camera. So initially, we want our camera to uh, be a little bit uh, larger than this Doodle Videos area, and then we're going to zoom in a little bit. So let's go to camera, and we're actually going to start the camera, like I said, a little bit uh, zoomed in like this. So we're not going to start with the camera in full screen. We're going to start with it in this position. Let's just move that out just a little bit more. Just give us more space. Okay. So we'll go to the top here. We're going to add a camera effect. And I'm going to also just shorten it a little bit like that so it moves a little bit more quickly. So remember that these bars here are the camera transitions. The actual camera 
is in the blank space. So right here we're starting with the camera just around the doodle video and as this is starting to draw, okay, that's where I want the, the camera to zoom in. So I'm going to move this over to here. So at the end, right here, of course, you cannot move the camera if you're in the middle of the transition. As you can see, the nodes are missing. So come outside here, and I'm going to bring this in just slightly like that. And we can center that a little bit better like that. So what will happen now is it starts a little bit big, start the text, and then zoom in as it's circling around. Now that's should be a little bit centered a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to watch as we move this, we're going to see the arrow just pop in right here. And this is where we want to start to move the camera. So I'm going to add another camera effect. Again, shorten it a little bit like that. And this is where it's going to start. And now we're going to move it. Okay, you move into the space where the next camera is going to be. And I'm going to move this over to here. Okay, so now we have the camera moving from here, following the arrow, and moving it to this spot. Okay, in the next motion, we're going to wait to see where the next uh, arrow is coming on, right about there, and I'm going to add another camera effect. Now, instead of pressing the plus key and just redoing this camera each time, we can right click and do duplicate reverse. So when we do that, it's going to keep the camera at the same size, but it's going to put it back to where it started from, as you can see here. So initially it starts here, it moves to there, and it's going to move back. Well, that's okay. We can move the end camera scene. So it's going to start here, camera's going to turn on there, and now at the end we want it to be down here, so we just move this over to here. Okay, so it's going to pop up here, and then move down here. Perfect. We're going to let this go. That looks pretty good. And as this next arrow is just going to come on right about there, we're going to move it over again. So let's right click and duplicate reverse. Have this over here. Move this to the end. And we're going to have this now over here. And you can have a little bit of the arrow there so it shows some, some motion. Okay, let's see if this fits okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And now we're going to have this next arrow pop on just about, let's say, oh, there. Right click, duplicate reverse, and move that here to the end. And this will then move. And we're going to take this here and move it over here. So this is where we're going to have the hand pop in. So it's going to pop in, but it's going to look like it's popping in from off screen. It's not going to be in the middle of the screen here. Okay, and once that's done here and the next arrow comes into play somewhere around there, one more, duplicate reverse, we'll follow that up and that hand will then disappear off screen. Move this over here like that. And then finally we're going to do the last camera here. And at the end of this one, we want it to be full screen, so we just have to press the full screen expand camera button, and it'll go full screen. And that's really about it. So let's follow this along here. Again, we're starting in the middle, writing. It zooms in a little bit, and we're going to now move from one aspect to another until we finally get back to the full screen and your full message. And when we play it, Okay, again, I put on the volume here, which is good, and we press play, exit the camera. And as you can see, it's just following along like we had the original video. And that's about it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you learned something, and good luck with your uh, doodling.